Hi everyone, welcome back to the Rugby League History Channel. Today I'll be doing my tips around 23 of the 2023 NRL season. Last week I got 5 out of 8 correct, which is pretty much standard for the channel. I usually get about 5 or 6 out of 8 correct each week. Let me know how many you got right. This week there's some big games coming up. Let's start off with the first match which is kicking off on Thursday night. And that match is between Sydney Roosters and Manly Warringah. This one's being played at the Old Lady, the Sydney Career Ground. Sydney Roosters in 14th at the moment and Manly in 10th. Both of these sides had a lot of good times at the SCG in years gone by. Manly have won quite a few premierships there. And also Eastern Suburbs have won a lot of premierships there as well. With Manly, they don't really play at the SCG too often these days. This is only... They're going to be the fifth time that they've played there since 1987 when they won the grand final over Cambry. These two sides met earlier in the year where Manly defeated Sydney Roosters 18 points to 16 on the 2nd of July 2023 at Brookvale Oval. In the last five matches that these two sides have played in the NRL, both have two wins apiece. And this is a really important game, especially for Manly, because they know if they can get a victory here, they could potentially be in the top eight if results go their way. For this match, I'm going to go for Manly to win by 1 to 12 points. I just think with the way that these teams have been travelling this year, Manly have been slightly better. I think this is going to be a really close game, like the one earlier in the season, but I'm going to go for Manly to win by 1 to 12 points. And the first match on the Friday is between the Gold Coast and New Zealand. This one's being played at Cebu Super Stadium. The Gold Coast in 12th at the moment and New Zealand in 3rd. Gold Coast have won their last three matches against New Zealand. And the last time that New Zealand defeated the Gold Coast at Cebu Super Stadium was in round 14 of the 2019 NRL season. New Zealand have won four of the last five matches in the league. And with the Gold Coast, they picked up an upset victory over North Queensland last week. For this match, I'm going to go for New Zealand to win by 1-12 to 12 points. I just think overall this year that New Zealand have been a better side than the Gold Coast. And even though it's away from home, I'm confident they can get the victory. Even though the Gold Coast picked up an upset victory over North Queensland last week and BKR Sport got the bragging rights over some of his off-field rivals, I'm going to go for New Zealand to win this match by 1-12. And the main match on the Friday, and this one's a big one, it's between Penrith and Melbourne. And this one's being played at Penrith Stadium, Penrith in first and Melbourne in fourth. Penrith have won six of the last ten encounters that they've played against Melbourne. In round 18 this year, these two sides played at Docklands. Penrith defeated Melbourne 34 points to 16. And Penrith coming in this match having won five matches in a row in the league. One stat that I've seen already posted on about a few different pages by that draw and William Pearson is that Penrith haven't defeated Melbourne twice in a season since 2005. But he also said last week that Manly hasn't beaten St George and Wollongong since 2003 on about 50 different pages and Manly ended up winning. So with this match, with Penrith, I don't think that they're too fears by the fact that they haven't beaten Melbourne twice in a season since 2005. For this match, I think it's going to be a close one. I think it's going to be a very tight physical affair. I think that this is going to be probably one of the games of the round. But I will go for Penrith to win by six points. I think that they'll just get over the line over Melbourne. Melbourne, as far as I'm concerned, is still a premiership threat in 2023. Not many people are talking about them, but I believe that they are. But I will go for Penrith to win this match by six points. And the first match on Super Saturday is between North Queensland and Brisbane. And this is the Queensland derby. North Queensland in eighth at the moment, Brisbane in second. This match is being played at Queensland Country Bank Stadium. North Queensland have won six of the last ten matches against Brisbane and Brisbane have won four matches in a row in the league. The head-to-head -head between these two rivals, 59 matches played, North Queensland have won 20, Brisbane have won 37 and there's been two draws. Brisbane come into the derby having beaten Eastern Suburbs last week and with North Queensland they come in after suffering a shock loss against the Gold Coast. With these derby matches, form goes out the window. It's just whoever wants it more on the day. But with this match, I will go for Brisbane to win by 1-12 to 12 points. I think with Brisbane, they've just been a better side this year. And they're riding off a potential minor premiership. If Penrith can slip up and they can get a couple of wins, they can be minor premiers. 
But I think this will be a very close game. There'll be plenty of feeling in it. But I just have a feeling that Brisbane's going to win by 1 to 12 points there on the Saturday. And the second game on Super Saturday is between Redcliffe and Newcastle. And this one's being played at Optus Stadium in Perth. It sees Redcliffe in 13th place at the moment and Newcastle in 9th. Newcastle come into this fixture having won their last four matches in a row in the in the league. And with Redcliffe, they come into this match having lost their last two games in a row. These two sides met earlier in the year in round three. And Redcliffe defeated Newcastle 36 points to 20. And that's when they started the year on fire. But now is a totally different scenario to then. With Newcastle, they know that if they can get another win and if results go their way, they can sneak in the top eight. And they've been playing very well in the last month or so. And there's no reason why they couldn't win this match. So I'm going to go for Newcastle to win this game by 1-12 to 12 points there on the Saturday. And the final match on Super Saturday is between South Sydney and Cunnulli. This one is also being played at Optus Stadium in Perth. South Sydney in 6th at the moment and Cunnulli in 7th. South Sydney have won 6 of their last 10 matches against Cunnulli in the NRL. And Cunnulli coming to this match having lost their last 3 matches in the NRL. This will be a rare trip over to Perth for Cunnulli. Um, excluding the Auckland Nines competition, the last time that they played in Perth for a proper NRL game was on the 7th of May 2005 and they defeated New Zealand 28 points to 24. For this match, I'm going to go for South Sydney to win by 1 to 12 points. With the way that Cronulla have been playing over the last couple of weeks, I can't tip them, so I'm going to go for South Sydney to win by 1 to 12 there on the Saturday. And the first match on the Sunday is between Parramatta and St George. This one's being played at the Western Sydney Stadium. It sees Parramatta in 11th at the moment and St George in 16th. Parramatta have won 6 of the last 10 matches that they've played against St George. And the last time these two sides met, because of the way the NRL draw is, the last time these two sides played was quite a while ago. It was on the 3rd of April 2022 and Parramatta defeated St George 48 points to 14. St George coming to this match after suffering a very narrow loss to Manly last week and Parramatta suffered their worst loss of the year last week against Melbourne. So with the Parramatta loss last week, I'm going to break character just a little bit. What really annoyed me last week with the loss, it wasn't the fact that they were celebrating 25 year, it was the fact that they celebrated the 2007 and 2009 Premiership wins. And they could have chosen any other team to celebrate this milestone, but they had to choose us, one of the teams that they beat while they were cheating the cap. And what really annoyed me the most is that they took the piss out of us before the game. And guess what we responded with? We responded with absolutely nout. We gave absolutely nothing in response and they took the piss out of us the entire game. And that's what really annoyed me the most about that loss. Now with St George, they're mathematically still a chance to get in the wooden spoon, but if they can beat Parramatta on Sunday, then they're definitely going to avoid it because I don't see West Tigers winning three matches in a row to overtake Saints. And with Parramatta, the season's not over, but it's definitely on life support. They have to beat St George, especially if all the results go against them. They have to beat St George regardless. So this is a very, very, very important game for Parramatta. For this match, I'm going to go for Parramatta to win 1-12. to I think they can do it. I think they can beat St George. So I'm going to go for Parramatta to win and still have a chance of making the finals in 2023. And the final match to close out round 23 is between Canberra and West Tigers. This match is being played at Bruce Stadium in Canberra. It sees Canberra in 5th at the moment and West Tigers rock bottom of the table in 17th. Canberra have won their last six matches in a row against the West Tigers in the NRL. The last time that West Tigers defeated Canberra was in round 22 of the 2018 NRL season. This match was played at Bruce Stadium and they won 22 points to 20. West Tigers have also lost their last eight matches in a row in the NRL. With West Tigers, at the moment as things stand, they need to win at least three matches and hope that St George lose all the rest of their games and potentially Canterbury as well, for them to have any chance of surviving from getting the wooden spoon for the second year in a row. Uh, as things stand, things look very bleak for the club. They're going to have to win this game and a few of the others and hope that other results go their way. But as things stand, it looks like that West Tigers will get their second wooden spoon in a row. 
For this match, I'm going to go for Canberra to win 13 plus. I think that Canberra will put a bit of a score on the West Tigers there on the Sunday. I don't really hold out much hope for West, so I'm going to go for Canberra to win 13 plus. So that has been my tips for round 23 of the 2023 NRL season. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below and let me know who you're tipping. And thanks everyone for watching my video last week. Views made it the second most watched tipping video on YouTube. So thank you for tuning in and watching my video. Anyways, this has been Ruby League History and I'll catch us all later in the next one. Alright, ta for now.